Hi, I'm Billy Maddox, and I'm going to mess this up so that you don't have to. Part three. Okay, I took a little break from doing these uh, voiceovers because it was so like taxing on the vocal cords. Oh my god. No, I'm kidding. Um, here we are, marathon going, part three. If you'll notice, I'm pretty sure that I linked it in the last video, but if you'll notice, this is a familiar um, stencil that I'm using um, currently. Um, you'll, you'll notice down there, it is the stencil for that, like, you know, hashed circle marking that's on Rebel Pilot helmets. Because this is going to be a Rebel Pilot helmet cover. <laughs> I know we did the sort of Rebel Pilot cover. This is the Rebel Pilot helmet cover. I'm doing it on gray, and I'm stenciling this on, and yes. I'm going to do some of the, that uh, weathering stuff, quote unquote, I'm saying weathering weird because I'm trying to uh, <laughs> emphasize that I'm doing like air quotes on it um, so that it kind of looks grungy and stuff, you know, so that it looks like a helmet and I'm going to do a stripe on it and, you know, we're going to freestyle a little bit. This, this one I kind of was like, okay, let me do this big stencil in the middle and then freestyle on it. So. Uh, the same like I did on the cap, I've only cut out half of this stencil because it's symmetrical. So I've done one half and then flipped it around and done the other half and that way I can do this. And it's a little bit hairy and it's a little bit dirty, but that's sort of what we're going for, you know? It's all done neat in the way that it's neat to the touch, you know? It, it's looking neat, but it's like, you know, it's intentionally a bit grungy um, because that's sort of what we're going for. Uh, but neat where it needs to be, but we're, we're gonna come back and clean it up. I'm saying we like we're like <laughs> Like you did it because it's shit. <laughs> I Don't know why I started saying we're gonna come back <laughs> You didn't do anything on this view. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, okay um, Let's get back to the voiceover um, <laughs> I'm doing the stencil, but I'm gonna come back and clean it up in a little bit um, with a gel pen, with a white gel pen. Those are really, um, really, really handy to keep uh, to keep around, just to clean some stuff up and cut some shapes. Uh, so here we go. I'm gonna, you know, boom. I let that dry because I knew I needed to sort of tape right over it. Um, getting something underneath here, and I'm gonna do a stripe, or I should say a series of stripes. Um, but I'm gonna give myself a white base first, I think. Is that what I did? I think so. I'm watching this live. Look, we're doing this together. This is this is the the voiceover is the experience that you have of me watching back what I did for like a few days <laughs> this is the past week of work that I'm now seeing after like editing it down to something manageable um so this is the first playback not the first playback but you know anyway whatever letting you that's too too much on the inside um we're doing a white base for this stripe I'm gonna do a series of stripes and similar to how I did the back to the future one a couple videos back I'm, I'm gonna use the tape to do um, parallel, you know, stenciled out lines of different color. But we're doing a white base just so that, you know, we've got some clean, something clean to work with. And as you can see, it progress, like these videos progress, you'll, you'll notice other covers that I have because these packs obviously, like these are only the hand-painted covers that you're seeing with these packs, and it's, it's really only four of them, or five of them. This one, those two in the middle and the right, you know, and then the two Back to the Future ones, and then the one on the far left that I did for myself. But, uh, so anyway, so it's not that many, but there are others, uh, uh, other notebooks. Uh, so here I'm using the Jelly, um, the jelly pen, the gel pen, the jelly pen, <laughs> while I'm while I'm letting that white 
um, dry a bit better so that I can do some stuff over it. Uh, so I'm just cleaning up these shapes. You know, some of these um, some of these lines look a bit hairy, but with a outline, it starts to really clean them up, and it really starts to sort of make sense. Also, in universe, that this was like a, maybe a decal on white that is slapped on. Um, that, who know? I'm making all of this up, you know, but, you know, just trying to get in universe with it when this is, these are the decisions. Um, these are the decisions I've made. It's my decision. Um, so we are going to clean up. I'm going back to the Wii thing. You ain't do anything on this. You ain't do nothing. Uh, that was funny before, earlier. Remember earlier? I've, look, these voiceovers, this has been a marathon. This is like a bit of half hour of me talking, like, straight, like, some breaks. But, like, you know, oof. Anyway. <laughs> Let's clean this up, and let's get let's get let's give it up for you know ordinary adventures and always believe. Again, um, I should mention this is for their packs. These are the hand painted ones, and I figured I'd get a video out of it, and and, and we'll see what's up. Um, and oh, I wish I had the information, but I remember that I did get these gel pens, like specifically these white gel pens, recommended. I feel like. I think if you look up on YouTube what is the best white gel pen and if there's one where there's like a video where it's testing a bunch of them, it's in that one. And you'll be able to find this exact pen that I'm using. Because I watched that video and the best one from that was the one that I got, I think. I'm pretty sure. Why would I? Why would? I, why wouldn't I? <laughs> I got the the crappiest one. In a, <laughs> I watched a video of a, the hundred best white jelly pens, and I bought the worst one because I'm a moron. No, I'm kidding. But it's uh, you know it's nothing special. But it is it is quite you know a good opaque white if you're looking for something like that i don't know if this is getting a little too inside makey makey wait no that's what you're here for <laughs> inside makey makey um i would almost call it a very thin line paint marker i mean you can't do you know it, it's not gonna go on plastic or anything but um on paper yeah it, it behaves like it so here i'm doing the same thing i did with the blotching in the second video if you haven't seen that you should go see it um but you could see the results of it in the 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 top middle and top right there those two covers i'm doing the same thing but in white and kind of like smudging it a little and like sort of griming it up and i'm i'm doing sort of a you know i'm doing some weathering so I'm doing some, some some sort of highlight stuff. I'm going to come back and then do and then clean that up. So I'm actually doing this in layers, which is something I've never done before, which is try to do, you know, some semblance of weathering, but on a notebook. So here I'm doing that technique again uh, that you saw in the second video. I'm just going to peel that up here. It's really satisfying seeing it come up. Um, but we're doing the same thing that I did with the white. I'm doing with the gray. The examples are, again, top, middle, top, right. I'm going to take this one off, and I've done the same thing there. Oh, and I did the stripes. You see, I did a sort of yellow, a silver, and a garnetish, sort of orangish color. I think it makes for, for, for a nice sort of design for a cover. And it emulates, you know, the stripes of in the middle of a rebel pilot helmet and then also has all the the signage and stuff all the symbols and everything that it needs it's you know i think it's pretty good i'm gonna clean it up here looks like i'm gonna got a little bit of paint where it shouldn't be it's always good a little light scraping with the exacto we'll, we'll get that up most times And these are done. Well, the hand-painted ones are done. Now they're going to go and actually get bound. <laughs> I'm binding these all with um, yellow Irish linen. And I'm binding all of them, like all of their notebooks in the yellow Irish linen. Uh, because they're mostly Star Wars. Um, 
like it just looks it looks nice it looks like an extra detail it looks like it's uh rebel stuff because it's a good sort of deep yellowish orange so these are most of the, the notebooks but these are the the different packs um here you see they are bound and ready to go and i'm going to round off the corners and do the whole shebang belly bang, belly bound them and once they're all done these are already on their way i actually should probably check the tracking to see if maybe they've arrived already i do know that i think at the time of recording this, I think Ordinary Adventures just dropped their latest like P.O. Box video, so I missed <laughs> I missed that one, but I'll probably be in the next one, maybe. Uh, but yeah, these are the, the finished packs, all belly bound and ready to go. And the last thing is just to include a sticker in each pack and um, a little note to each of them and put these in the mail and, and send them out. Uh, but they, they've already been sent. But anyway, and thanks so much for joining me on this like week-long weird sort of thing, but just wanted to give you some, some ideas of uh, how to hand paint simple designs, pop culture designs. I'll probably keep doing this, although I'm, I've kind of, I'm kind of done with pocket notebooks. I've had it like up to here. It's been a big pocket notebook year. So um, thanks so much for watching. Roll the thing.